uh, today I'm just going to show you what I got uh, off Amazon. I ordered Govi interior lights for my car. Uh, they should have a, some sort of speaker on them where they pick up the music and can dance to the music. They come in different rhythms or patterns that are programmable. Uh, you can also just set specific colors, which uh, is probably what I'm going to do. I, I like having blue lights in the cab of the truck. Um, but I wanted to do the unboxing with you also because I was under the impression this company that I, I like to go through, Govi, uh, only had one type of interior car LED strip light. But as you can see, I got two different boxes. I ordered from two different vendors on Amazon. One was on sale. This one was, I believe, $24. And this one was $29.99. I didn't have, they didn't have a second available at the sale price, so I went to the next cheapest after I bought the cheapest. The next cheapest, because the Govies on their website, their interior lights, it's only like $16. But they were all sold out uh, before Christmas. It's now January 1st of 2024. Happy New Year, everyone. And these were the only boxes available uh, through Amazon. And uh, let's get to it. Let's see uh, what the difference is in these boxes. As, again, the company should only only has one type, I thought. I'm going to move this one to the side. We'll come back to it. Let's see what we got. Ugh, we got a mess is what we got. Man, they, the packaging in this isn't fantastic. A little user manual. Uh, join the Govi Home. I've already got a user ID for their website and stuff. Uh, this is what I was talking about as far as what I think captures the sound, or is it... Well, this is different. <clears throat> So Govi, the Govi products, there's an, actually an app on your phone, and you can sync up with the app on your phone. So I'm not sure the necessity of, it looks like, something else to attach to your car keys, which seems silly to me, but... Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to end up going through my, my phone app. Hopefully, it better work with that. Um, strange. That looks like it's uh, a button, but it doesn't do anything. I'll probably just keep this in my console. Um, I don't really see a use for this when you can just change it with your phone. Uh, looks like you got some small Phillips head screwdriver screws. Zip ties. I'm probably going to go with the zip ties because I'm going to I'm going to probably just drill some small holes in the underlining below my steering wheel and on the passenger side. There's about an inch of plastic space with nothing behind it that you know you don't want to drill into and cause a problem with. But I guess we're going to have to see which one works the best too because. Obviously, I want that one in the front. I have a Toyota Tacoma access cab, so the oh, cheap. Uh, the other portion is going to be, or the other box is going to be in the back seat. So whichever box is worse will be the back seat lighting. Okay. And so it should be a pretty simple install, too. It just plugs into your battery. This lights up. You can power it on and off with this. Um, I mean, this looks like it has a power button too, so I'm not sure the, you know, design-wise why you'd want a power button here and a second power button within the same line. But, yeah, what I'm planning on is just doing the zip ties and going through one side, back up the other and pulling them tight. Hopefully, I can get them tight enough where they will not... Uh, rattle when I listen to my music really loud. We'll see. All right, so that's box one. What was in it? Uh, just some stuff, some screws, this weird remote garbage thing. Uh, second box, which is different packaging, which is strange to me, but let's take a look and see if it's just the same stuff in a different box. All right. 
Okay. Also, not impressed with the packaging as far as just having these all loose. That's, uh, seems less than, oh, maybe they came loose. Here's the zip tie for it. Another one of those. Looks like the same user manual, uh, same join our club thing. I think the only difference with this set, I mean, they look basically the same. Does that feel the same? Let's see. Looks like uh, the only major difference here is I, I didn't get some uh, screws, the Phillips head screws, or some kind of chanky little remote that's probably not standard part of what they package with or something, because I don't, I'm still just trying to figure out if you go through your phone app what you would even need this for. What is this? Oh, I guess that slides down. I guess it's uh, just kind of cool looking, but it comes with a battery. Um, I don't, still don't see the point. You can do everything through your phone. Seems like a, a waste of materials. Um, but yeah, this looks similar. Same power button here, power button on the line. These are both the same length. Yeah, everything looks the same. So that's going to be it for now. Um, I'll probably do some more video when I'm in the truck installing, show you where I'm going to put it. Uh, we'll plug them in, see if, make sure they both work before we bolt them down or tie them down. See you in a bit. All right, um, I think I figured out where I'm going to go with these. Now each, each cord, uh, it plugs into the lighter port. Uh, each side will have two. So this one right here, whoops, sorry about that. This one is going to go right here. And it's daisy chained to the other one, which I'm going to run behind the plastic trim here. I've already done this trim. And I'm going to plant this one right here. I was going to put it on the seat here, but then I thought if the seat moves back and forth, I could yank on this cord. Nobody should be driving my truck except for me, but in the rare instance that it happens, it may not be good to have it right here, even though I, I think that would look pretty cool there. But I think I'm going to end up planning it here. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to probably drill a hole here or there to... There's a thin layer of plastic right here in the front that you can get to that doesn't have anything behind it. So I should be fine to do that. All right, I'll see you in a little bit when I've got that done. All right, so got the driver's side in. I don't know if you're able to see that, but I got it mounted right there, through there. Wires tucked around behind the paneling here. And then this is just attached to the side of my seat. Now there's an adhesive strip on the back side of this. So along with the zip ties, um, it should secure it pretty well right there. Um, for anybody doing this self, what I would su suggest that you don't do is use your finger as a guide for the drill going through the plastic so you don't hit something else because then you hit your finger. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go do the passenger side, and then I'll come back. We'll turn on the truck, and well, it's still light out, so we might not be able to see it as well. Be back in a little bit. All right, uh, I am back again, and so I've got the under the cab door. Got that on both sides of the front. I also put in the back strip right here in the access cab, and then along my speaker box in the center. And over on the side uh, it's daytime so you can't really see it that well but it's going to probably be set on blue but uh, it is an RGB so I've got all the colors you could hope for um, wires I'm gonna accept where they are uh, I've got a port that I created here just between the passenger seat so I have one plug there 
and then the switches on the side that I probably won't use because I'll hook it up to my phone. But uh, I also have the blue lights for the interior lights that I've replaced. Uh, even on the mirrors too. Uh, blue thing kind of goes with the rest of the truck here. I got the blue rims and the black truck, so it's a black and blue thing. Uh, but as far as the review of the GoV product, easy installation. Uh, Easy-ish. I mean, I, I still did drill my, managed to drill a hole in my finger. Uh, but yeah, easy installation. It's a great product. Uh, I've bought tons of GoV stuff and I'll continue to buy, you know, more GoV stuff for the house. Uh, thanks for watching. Wanted to add one more thing. Uh, just thought about it and uh, adding it to the phone app for Govi is really easy. Uh, there's both, I have two different interior light systems in here, so it was easy to add both of them. Um, worked out really well. Uh, did not take much effort at all. You have the app and then you hit this uh, little plus sign up here in the corner and then it, uh, if you have your Bluetooth turned on, it will just let you sync up to one. And then I went back, exited, hit the add button again up in the top right corner and was able to add the second system, no problem. All right, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and like. Oh, and turn on notifications.